you take the pier with Ben? Jordan, you start by Larry's clam shack and work down to the shore. Seth, you and I'll take the parking lot. Okay. What's wrong with this picture? What? Liz, it's the last day of summer, and you're holding a pen and paper. Jess, I'm organizing a beach cleanup. Liz, you've worked at a soup kitchen, painted a church, and now you're spearing trash with a pointy stick? What's next? World peace? Okay, I guess I've been throwing myself into a lot of things. Why can't you just relax and have some fun? Use me as your role model. I haven't done a thing all summer. It's just with Todd gone. I'd go crazy if I didn't keep busy. Listen, I know we'll get you out of this funk. The Beach Olympics. Not again. We always come in 10th place. Excuse me? We came in 9th place last year. Sorry. I have to go to work. Fine. But there's no way you can convince me that this is fun. Liz, we just hit the jackpot. A whole bunch of dead jellyfish just washed ashore. Great. Thanks. <laughs> Manny? 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 Are you okay? I think I watched too much TV this summer. All the time people ask me, Bruce, how is it that you've won the Beach Olympics for four years in a row? I tell them my team stands behind me. Maybe it's because of my leadership. Maybe it's because of my skill. Well, maybe it's because you buy them all Twinkies after the game. <laughs> oh, Jess, the team's meeting in ten minutes. Don't tell me. The bad news babes are entering the Beach Olympics for the fourth humiliating year in a row? Well, I guess the tenth place ribbon and free plate of fried clams is better than nothing. <laughs> Let me tell you something. With me as team captain this year, we are going to kick some serious Patman butt. Face it, Jessica. Captain Crunch stands a better chance of winning than you. You know, it's a good thing Liz is organizing a beach cleanup. Because this place is covered in trash. Romance IQ. What is your idea of a perfect romantic evening? A. Candlelight dinner at an expensive restaurant. B. Picnic by the lake at sunset. Okay, here we go. Or C. Playing yachts. Oh, obviously yachting. Todd! Today, my mother, on the phone. Have you been eating sugar cubes again? No. Todd's coming back. Winston, explain now. Todd called my house looking for me. He's coming back from Vermont today. Is he home yet? Oh, my God, I've got to get over there right now. No, no, my mom told me we were at the beach. He's coming here. I can't believe this. He told me he didn't have a break from basketball till Thanksgiving. He must have missed you so much he had to fly back. You think so? Why didn't he call me? He probably wanted to surprise you. Oh, that's so romantic. Want to borrow my Yahtzee? <laughs> Lila, I want you to start Parma Lily. We'll have four large orders of fries and three hot dogs. Extra stuff. Stop, stop, rewind, erase. I don't do beach Olympics. I don't do sun tanning. And I certainly don't do carb. Yeah. Carbo, Warbo, Marbleless, Pinche Noir, Adonis at 3 o'clock. I see you've noticed lifeguard Josh. He's judging the beach Olympics. He is? He loves the Beach Olympics. It reminds me of his last girlfriend. She was one of those fun-loving, volleyball-playing redhead types. Do you think I'm that gullible? I'm not going to let my skin turn to leather for some lifeguard. Hello, ladies. I'm looking forward to seeing you two in action later. Maybe a little sun would do me some good. Excuse me, but your huge ego is blocking my son. Why don't you just quit the Beach Olympics now, Wakefield? Save yourself the humiliation. Don't worry. There'll be plenty left for you. Now, would you mind? Bruce Patman is the rudest, most egotistical, self-centered... Evil, underhanded little witch. Sounds like you really like her. <sighs> Sounds like you really like him. <laughs> Welcome, everyone, to the annual Sweet Valley End of the Summer Beach Olympics! 
He ever cheated. And I am talking major, major ruin here. Jess, you were the one that cheated. Whose side are you on anyway? Oh, one large blanket and a side order of pillows. Make that two. About to collapse. Don't whip out on me, guys. We still have the final event. I'm tired, I'm sweaty, and I have sand lodged in every precious pore of my skin. Jess, don't you think you're taking this competition a little too seriously? It's supposed to be fun, remember? I am having fun. And I'll have even more fun when we beat that pompous Nimrod Bruce. Aren't we fired up? Could there be a little summer loving going on between you and Bruce? <laughs> that is totally ridiculous. Hey, isn't it great that our teams are tied? It's like we're all winners. Shut, Shut up, up, Manny. Manny. Hey, Wilkins. Todd. Hey, Todd. Todd. What are you doing, Zach? Come on. Let's take a walk. Todd, that was so great of you to surprise me. Surprise? Oh, yeah, right. How long are you in town for? Liz, I'm moving back to Sweet Valley. For good. Oh my God. That's fantastic. But I don't understand. I thought you loved Fairmont Academy. Let's just say things weren't going as I planned. It's a long story. Actually, maybe this wasn't such a good idea. I'm gonna go home and unpack, okay? I got a bunch of stuff I gotta do. But you'll be back for the finals, won't you? I'll try. Todd, wait. I just want you to know. I'm really glad you're back. Well, that makes one of us. Nice volleyball game, Wakefield. Where'd you find Brunhilde? Oh, her. She's an exchange student. From where? Planet of the Apes? Don't worry, Bruce. You still have the obstacle course. That'll definitely separate the winners from the... From the... The losers? What a perfect name for your team. Why the long face? Don't tell me lifeguard Josh hasn't swept you off your feet. Feet, Jess? Why don't you look at my feet? Thanks to you, my feet look like ballpark Franks. I can't go out with them like this. But I gave you my sunscreen. SPF2 is not sunscreen, it's barbecue sauce. So does this mean you're not going to be in the relay race? This bonfire is going to be so romantic. Of course, it would be much more romantic if I had a boyfriend. Yeah, I agree. Where's Todd? I thought by now you guys would be off making goo-goo eyes at each other. Actually, Todd went home. He said he had to unpack. Unpack? He hasn't seen you for months. You'd think he'd... 
Have a lot to unpack. Sure, he's home unpacking. That makes perfect sense. You know, I never told you this. But Ty's been acting really strange lately. I mean, he's distant on the phone. He barely wrote me any letters. Do you think he's still upset about Nick? No, he knows nothing happened between us. I love him so much, Enid. Now he's back, but something's changed. I know it. Todd loves you. Obviously, he didn't come back to Sweet Valley for the local seafood. You'll see. Once Todd gets settled back into town, you two will regain your title as Mr. and Mrs. Perfect Couple. Yeah, I'm feeling queasy already. Thanks. I'm sure you're right about us. At least I hope so. Here you go. Hey, little buddy. You look like you could use a taste of paradise. Thanks, man. <laughs> I've been looking for you all night, Gilligan. Gilligan? Not again. <laughs> What's in that thing? Welcome back, everyone, to the annual Sweet Valley End of the Summer Beach Olympics! <laughs> all right, it's time for the final event, the obstacle relay race. We all know how it's done, right? Yeah! Okay, we got an obstacle course down, egg and spoon back. First team across the finish line wins. Let's get our first teams out. Good luck. Luck is for the unprepared. On your mark, get set, go! Oh, yuck! Oh, man, that's seriously gross. See ya. Uh. <laughs> I'd love to stay in chat, but I've got to run. Wakefield! What's the matter with you? Tell me, my loved one. I'll take my trophy now. Yeah, think again, Jessica. I saw how you cheated. You're disqualified. Yes! Ah, uh, so are you, Patman. You can't do this. Yeah, this isn't fair. Get out of here, both of you. Thank mm -hmm. you.